be making bases. What's going on YouTube? It's your man Eva J Music, owner of Beat Making Basics. We're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you know when we're going to post. Also, like the video and leave me a comment so I can know about, you know, how you like the video and stuff like that. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is kind of talking about two different topics at the same time. The first topic is really about how you can improve your um, your workflow and make sure that the uh, computer, your computer speed is not lagging and different things like that. And then another way is showing an alternative way to add your effects to your tracks um, without slowing down your CPU power. So really, that's the gist of what this video is about. Now, let's just talk quickly about like your computer speed and different things of that nature. When you add a bunch of effects onto um, you know your tracks, that's going to l make your computer lag over time. You know what I'm saying? So, what you want to do is um, use your sends this section right here to send the signal to an auxiliary track and then process that auxiliary track um, that's gonna be way better on your computer and your mixes are gonna sound a whole lot better so let's just show you a real-life example I'm gonna go ahead and mute or solo out this uh, this basic melody I've came up with or plugged together and let's just kind of listen to it real quick all right that, that just to give you a little taste that's that's what the melody sounds like right now let's say if i wanted to come onto this track right here and add say reverb it already has a nice little bit of reverb on it but again like say if i was to put that reverb right on this track let's say i'll use this valhalla room boom 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 you know over time if i have kept on putting reverb 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 on every single track it's going to overload your processing power what you can do to get around that and still accomplish the goal of you know adding that extra room on your track is you can come to your sins and send this signal from this track to an auxiliary track and how you do that in logic pro 10 10.5 is you click on this right over here and you're going to go to bus and you're going to find an open or available bus okay let's go with bus one and then what just happened now is you have a bus that's going to an auxiliary track okay and it's going to send this signal over here and now what you can do is you can add that Valhalla room or that reverb here you can adjust the settings however you want you know what I mean let's say you just need it adjusted like that and now when you play the track you can come over here to this guy and bring the volume up up or down as much as you want this is also going to give you more control over your mix because like you know say if you had that that effect right here on the track I mean it's only so much you could do without it overloading so let's kind of listen to it now I'm gonna bring up the um, reverb while we're listening to it all right so now you can see how nothing is lagging and you know we're still accomplishing that uh that overall effect of giving it more room and, and giving it a reverb now you can actually also do other things too like i can come over here say to my drums and say if I wanted to add like a basic compressor over all the drums I can come over here and do that same thing by you know saying coming over to like say an, an empty bus and bust all the signal over here to this and say if I wanted to add like a um, you know a, uh, a compressor you know what I mean I can add this compressor let's say I set this like this put a little ratio right here brought the attack down you know release it short let's say let's say I wanted to add a you know a little bit of compression to the kick so I'm gonna bring the kick in right I'll bring this loop right here so we can kind of really hear that 
Now, as, the kick is already solid as it is. I'm going to turn it down some just so you can kind of hear it better. And then I'm going to add the, the, uh, the compression to it. You know, and now instead of putting compression on each track, I can just come over here, bring it over here on the snare. I can even put it on a hi-hat a little bit. This is so many different ways you can do this. You could also do it even with EQing. So say if you wanted to, you know, do run a low pass filter or a high pass filter on all your drums, you know, you can affect it that way without overloading each track with different um, effects and different things of that nature. There's really no true rule to this outside of this freeing up your CPU power and then being able to, you know, have more flexibility on what you put on here. So again, let's look at, uh, let's look at this track again. Let's, you can just turn this off. Say if I wanted to put like a delay effect on this instead of a reverb, I could come over here, go to an open bus, let's say bus five. And of course you can come down here and name these as well. You feel me? So I can come over here reverb and I can actually spell it all the way out you know what I'm saying I can come over here and say comp for compression I can put, put DLY for delay you can come over here and put a delay on this let's go over here to the waves we'll go to this one right here turn that down a little bit yeah there we go and now I can pretty much bring that up here, right? I'm gonna put this right here. You can add as little or as much as you need. Now the cool thing again about this is you can add these effects to any portion of the track, uh, of the tracks that you have here. So like say if I wanted to take this delay and run that through a little bit to this clap, right? Then all I have to do is go to the sends, go to bus, and go to the delay I just created. And then turn it up. So let's just check out the clap real quick. Again, as you can see, you can put as little or as much as you want in this. As little as much as you want in this. That's a beautiful thing about using your sends or using the, the ability to send your signal to an auxiliary track and affecting that auxiliary track instead of affecting each individual track. I would highly recommend doing this. It's going to help you with your CPU power. It's going to make your mixes sound better. Um, you can do th cool things like I can come over here and add uh you know affect this whole auxiliary track instead i can put like you know cut out some of the lows on the eq here and then when i bring this up you know gives a different vibe i can come back over here to the melody and yeah, come back over to the melody and bring, you know, get a little delay effect on that instead. And it just gives you a lot more flexibility. Again, the main thing here is it's going to uh, lessen the load on your CPU. And when I say CPU, I mean on your computer, you feel me? So the processing power of it. So thank you for watching this video, y'all. We're going to see you in the next one. Make sure you leave a comment, man. And if you want to learn anything, if you want me to go over anything, man, also hit me up, man. I, I'm, I'm willing to, you know, do new videos based on what you, the viewers, want to see. You feel me? So appreciate y'all watching. I'll see y'all on the next one. All right. Peace.